What you see here are four rows of the common oat which is grown in many places of the world, in particular in northern countries, countries with short growing seasons and cold summers. But besides this common oat, which has the species name Avena sativa, there is another type of cultivated oat, Avena strigosa, sometimes called black oat or sand which originates from the Mediterranean area and uh, in particular from Spain and Portugal. And this old species has nearly disappeared from cultivation completely and is only preserved in gene banks. Each row of what you see here represents a different line of this deployed oat material. The first rows you see here show you some of the deployed oats which are lodging badly. Then you see other rows here standing more upright and one maturing already while the next one is pretty late. And we continue to other rows still standing a later one and then again some lodging ones and the next one is very late just pushing out the heads although we already have middle of August and uh, they may not mature under our conditions even if you take closer looks you find some other differences for example in this one here you have very spikelets in the panicle. Sometimes this species is distinguished as a separate species called Amina brevis, while the common deployed oat you see here is uh, has the botanical name Avena strigosa. There is also a Hallis type of this species. You see a panicle of the Hallis deployed oat here, which is Avena nuda. All this diversity uh, would have been lost for the most if gene banks would not preserve this germplasm of a crop plant which actually does not survive very well in the wild. If it's not cultivated by man it will disappear. It's a product of culture, of agriculture and only gene banks preserve this diversity.